This is a demo of my Ethernet bootloader for AVR. This is an Atmega 328P with a 16 MHz crystal. This is a breakout board for the very cheap ENC 28J60, which implements a physical layer, and the bootloader acts as a TFTP client. I've configured it to flash the orange LED when receiving, and the green LED when transmitting, which bizarrely isn't the default. And this Ethernet cable is actually plugged into the side of my laptop, where I've set up a network bridge to the Wi-Fi. The reason I've done that is so that we can then monitor every packet in Wireshark, but normally you would just plug this into your home router, or router. I have a Raspberry Pi set up as a public TFTP server, and the IP address for that happens to be hard-coded into the bootloader. I can force the bootloader to run, to run just by pressing the uh, reset. And there you go. And here it is again in Wireshark. So you can see the first thing it did was a ARP request for the default gateway at 192.168.1254. And then the TFTP read request. And this is just a small program that just enables the UART and sends out a demo message. Now, as well as using the settings stored in the flash, it can also use addresses stored in the E squared prompt. So as a demo, I'll just write some values into there using AVR dude, and this time I'll give it an IP address that's on the local network. That's my laptop running this Windows TFTP server. The reason I wanted it to load from the E squared problem is that I haven't implemented a DHCP client, but the odds are if you're using Ethernet, your main application will have a DHCP client, in which case it can write its IP addresses into the E squared prom and the bootloader will then use them. The whole thing is less than one kilobyte of code, so it fits into the 512 word boot sector. The main reason I made this was just that I wanted to play around with the lower layers of networking, something I've never really experimented with before. But at the same time, I wanted to make something useful. The source code is on GitHub, uh, all in assembly of course, and I've put quite a long write-up explaining everything on mitzella.com. See ya!